few days have passed since the event I'm too pro um, which we attended and won and I thought I'd do a little video talking about what happened and what the event was like so before the event going into it, we were pretty confident of our chances of winning. Um, everyone was confident in each other in the team. Things were going well. We did lose a few scrims here and there, but it happens. It's all practice online. So heading to the event, we actually expected there to be quite a lot of teams. In the end, I think there was around 25, something like that. Not sure what the exact amount, but the quality of teams there in the competition was still very high. It was only miss missing a few teams being Epsilon, Orbit, and other teams like that. There were a few French teams as well that could have attended and um, increase the competition there but it was still a very good net event nonetheless where the event was held it was kind of an odd place sort of you wouldn't really expect there to be an event there but then again it's just a game and event so once you've got a console and all that in front of you it doesn't really matter where you're playing as long as it's a fair environment which it was so the whole event but none of that stuff really bothers me but yeah going in on the Saturday we actually I think our first game was against Something pillar, I don't know, it was a stupid team name, but yeah, first game we just played one. There's a few issues with um, controls and stuff on main stage, because when you unplug your PS4 controller, obviously it's still charged and attached to that PS4. So if people don't disconnect their controller correctly from the devices, their controller can actually control your game, which was happening to myself on the main stage in our first game, which is quite annoying. I started uh, thinking, what the hell's going on here? Like, surely I'm not this bad. My aim's not like this crazy, as it was going left to right all over the place, and... But after it, I actually found out that I needed to disconnect every single device that was connected to that console previously. And from there on, once that issue was sorted, everything was fine. So yeah, we won that game 3-0, pretty comfortable. Then our next game was against, if I remember this correctly, E4, I think they were called, Looty, Golly and that, I believe. I'm not 100% on it, but, but I think that was their team name. So yeah, we won that again, pretty comfortable. 3-0, no issues, everything was fine. Going on after that, we expected to come up against XL, but they actually lost to Riot in a shock result, I guess you could say. It didn't really matter for us as long as we were just going to go through, get to the final, our main competition would be infused, which we did, so we beat Riot 3-0. Went on from there and come up against Infused in the winner bracket final, as they had a pretty smooth run, not losing any maps to any other team also. Now for the final, this is where it was sort of a shock to us, so we were up a lot on first map, and then we did a massive choke and actually lost the first map and from there on we got 3-0 by Infuse in the winner bracket we didn't expect that to happen we were pretty confident going into it as I said previously and yeah we just we were shocked really so from that moment on we just got our heads down won the loser bracket final against Riot again won that again 3-0 didn't lose a map then come to the final we're up against Infused again in the grand final as I said in the winner bracket we lost 3-0 to Infused so we knew it was going to be a really tough game and we knew it had to go as hard as we could and it went down to the last map in the first best of five. We were 5 3 down on Combine, uh, Combine S and D, and we actually managed to bring it back to win 6 5 and force a second best of five. Now that meant whoever wins the second best of five will win the whole event. Because for those that you don't know, and for those that you don't know, what happens is once a team comes from the loser bracket to play the grand final, the team that's already gone through to the grand final in the winner bracket has an advantage being a one best of five series over the other. So if they win one best of five before you've won two, you lose. So we won the first best of five, forced the second, and again it went all the way down to last map, which was fringe S and E, and we managed to win six four and take the event, which is great. And yeah, it's just good to kick off Black Ops Three with an event win. Um, it's what every team would love to do. It gives you confidence going forward in what is going to be the biggest year for esports in Call of Duty. So yeah, um, we've got CWL coming up this weekend and hopefully we can qualify for that. I'll do a video when I get back talking about it and I'm hoping it will be a good video saying we have qualified. But yeah, as I say always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the sports show on the weekend and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name
Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah. 